Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Jeff again and coming here to you with another fantastic contraption too. Not what you might be thinking though. I'm uh, I know you're eagerly awaiting my next attempt at this game, but we're gonna take it back to the beginning for a minute because I'm here with Julia. Hi. And she's gonna give this thing a try. Now she's never seen this. She has no idea what it is, but I told her I think it's something she might enjoy. So uh this sounds like a trick. No, no, it's a, you'll <laughs> you'll enjoy it. Go to start here. It'll teach you how to play. Which one of these is yours? The other one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Just be careful when you set something down on the table. It will make a loud, loud noise in the mic. Because the mic's on the table. I want to get to the goal. You do want to get to the goal. The pink square is the goal. It's like soccer. It, it is. The blue square is my workshop. You can talk out loud, too. Now click your mouse here to draw the wheel. That wasn't a very good wheel. Why is your mouse so sensitive? I mean, we can I can turn it down for you if you think can it's too you? sensitive. It's too sensitive. Oh no! Ew. We might have to start over. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Technicalities, <laughs> but what's going on here is we are playing Fantastic Contraption Two. Actually, Julia is playing Fantastic Contraption Two. Test the mouse real quick and make sure. Still kinda. I mean, I can I can turn no I can turn it down more. I just know, I know what button to hit now. I hit the wrong button. Try that. Okay. The pink wheel is important. This pink square is the goal. You win by getting the pink ball into it. The blue square is your workshop. Select the wheel. Watery rods. Mm hmm. That's not what the instructions just told you to do. Do I drag it? That's not what the instructions told you to do. Reread those instructions. There you go. Show it. Okay. Is, is the water the power, Jeff? No, no, no. The wheels are the power. Notice these wheels have like a little clockwise and counterclockwise thing in them. If you connect their middles to something, they will spin that direction. Okay. Start to test it out. But see what happens if you connect to the edges like you tried to do? It gets all crazy. Doesn't go good. It doesn't go good at all. It don't go real good. Select the water tool. God, these physics people just think they know everything. That one is definitely still a little uh, killywampus there. Oh, oh, but it made it anyway. Yay! Got lucky. Talk to the people. Water they rots can flow you. right past wheels and other rots. I'm concentrating, Jeff. No, but you're talking to, to an think audience really now. Hard. Talking you're to an, an audience. audience. Now. What rods will bump into wheels they aren't attached to? Why? I like because magnets. Because that's the way it goes. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Magnets? Like collecting magnets? Building magnets? Just magnets. Press start to see your contraption run. Okay. Con your contraption? Yeah, my contraption. Your, your contraption. So wait, how is this going to work? See, now, well, this one is kind of weird because all you're looking at, you, all you want is that pink ball to go to the goal on the bottom. Why that stuff's there on the top is beyond me. I think it's just like showing you something that you could do. Is it gonna make it? It's gonna make it. I did it, yay. How is there any suspense there though? It gets more difficult. Press start and let's see if this level does anything special. Whoa, the block is moving. 
<laughs> this is level too, too hard. hard. This is the first level. <laughs> By the way, you can move that little pink ball around. I didn't know that until the second episode I made. Anywhere in the workshop, you can move it too, <laughs> which I did not know. So I was dealing with it wherever it laid for the longest time <laughs> until I accidentally moved it. Why didn't it go? I have to drag you it? Just, no, you just gotta click it. But you never clicked it. There you go. Are you sure you want your mouse sensitivity where you got it at? No, it's still too loose. Too much? It too looks loose. I don't know what you mean by too loose. It's when I move it, it doesn't it moves, go far enough. It doesn't go far enough? Well, you told me to turn it down. There you well, go. That's what I meant for down. You want it to go farther? Oh, I was going the other direction. You said to turn this it down. This is better than it was. There. Now it's going to be. Is that too much? That's way too much. Well then, hold on. There, try that. That's actually where it started, just so you know, when you originally complained. And that that's probably very, very loud in that microphone right there. Sorry about that. My, my work phone does it all the time. Did I get that right? Well, it made it to the goal, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. What are you doing? I'm putting another blue magnet next to a blue magnet. You can save. It's not happening. That was weird. That was weird. But now you're on your own. Tutorial over, level one. I don't, so far I haven't seen a reason to do anything other than the same thing over and over. <laughs> I did the same thing for a while too. <laughs> What's with the blue swirly? The blue one, if it run, if something else gets in its way, like another ball, it can go through it. But if you use the wood one, it'll run into it. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, maybe it did. That's what I'm saying. Why would you do anything except make a straight one? Go, go to the next level and let's find out. Okay. So now there's a couple tricky things here. What? You're going the other direction for one. Wait. Oh, that's right. They've swerved. There you go. I don't know what this does. It's the same. It does the same thing. It just runs into other objects if you have multiple objects. But it's a stick. And that is not going to work. Really a worthless piece of crap. It's not going to make it. <laughs> Where do you plan on connecting that? You don't have to know. That's for me to find out. I'm making. <laughs> how, how is that going to do anything? I don't know. I don't know what it will do. I just learned how to play this. It's suspended in the air, not spinning on anything. <laughs> Shut up. God, you should that attitude, Jeff. You you might have the right con. You might have the right concept. You just might need to rearrange some of those wheels. Nah, it's fine. This is sure to work. <laughs> that might work. Just Go. Need, just needed more power. Go. Not quite enough, and Go. you're gonna Go. get stuck on the hill. No, your, no your, why? Your stick's too long. It's stuck on this the slope. If you grab, hold on, don't delete it yet. Go to the blue tool right next to the X. Next to the X. That one. And then click on the center of the, the pink wheel, that, that pink wheel, the center, no, no, down, down, that pink wheel. And you can, uh, just the center of the wheel itself. Not like, there you go. You can readjust everything. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, you <laughs> that one, that one on the top that. is doing nothing. It's just there. <laughs> How do you know it's doing nothing? Because <laughs> it's not connected <laughs> to anything. Maybe it's giving Can I put it some this weight. in the middle of it? No, you can't. You'd, you'd have to move that other one in and put it behind. God damn it. Or delete it. Or, or you could just move the other one in and put it behind. Not, wait, what? I don't know. It looks like a scooter. Yeah, let's try it. It looks fun. Did I make it? I, I don't know. You tell me.
Go, go. There you go. Yay. Next level, don't. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Just wait for it. Sometimes, for some reason, this game it, get, it. it gets locked up on me for some reason. Hold on. Okay, and we're back. I don't get it. Where's the thing? Well, hit the start button and see what happens. But where's the ball? That It's not a ball in this one. It's that square. You have to somehow get that square to go up into the goal. It's a learning curve. <laughs> that... you, you know this is a physics-based puzzle game, correct? That seemed fun. You didn't even and wildly fun. unsuccessful. So no matter what you do, that ball is going to fall down. Based on gravity. You can go to the red one if you really want to. You just gotta right there. Yeah, you gotta select it in just the right spot. Why did it move? Because you didn't suspend it by anything. You put you put it in midair. Well, what would of I attach it to? Of course, it's gonna fall down. All right. Maybe Mr. you Smarty McPants. maybe you're thinking about this the wrong way. All right, Smarty McPants. Wait, no. <laughs> Not good at this physics game. Not good at this physics game. This is going to fall down. So think about this from a logical perspective. If you needed to move something higher, how would you normally do it? I would attach it to something. What if you can't attach it to something? I could stick it to something. You're not going to stick it to something. <laughs> if you need to move the box up, what will you do with the box? If you need to move a box from the ground to the shelf, what do you do with it? You lift it. So maybe think about it from that perspective. That doesn't help me at all. How does that not help you at all? Because there's nothing that lifts. You can build things that lift. That's the whole point of this game. You okay. build things. Does, do I want this one? That, one? that one doesn't do anything. and It doesn't have any motion of its own. It just gets pushed along by other things. Just leave it. That was my phone. Um. Um. Okay. I was gonna say I just told you that those don't move at all on their own. So are you saying I have the wrong kind? I am thinking so. I need three. Uh, I don't know what you're doing with that one that's attached. Which one? The one that's attached to the box. Pushing. Are you saying this will just push it on its own? Uh, I'm saying hit the start button and find out. <laughs> it's pretty good. Maybe if that one wasn't attached, you would have an idea. 
Well, that's not going to quite work. You're, st <laughs> you're still attached to that point. How long is this supposed to take a normal person? I mean, a normal person, maybe some time. A doctor, usually less long. added two pipes to it. Why did I do that? Why is it not doing what I want? Let's, well, yeah, part of it's that. Part of it's the design. You still have that magnet up there. I don't know if that's doing anything, though. What I should have done is just put a bunch of negative magnets in the bottom and then some on the bottom of this so that you repel. Don't you think that would work? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you could connect them to anything. How far have you gotten in this game? Um, many levels past this. How long have you played it? Yesterday. Are you saying I'm stupid? I did not say that. Why? Oh, you had no structural support. Well, I don't understand structural support. Hit stop. What do you think is going to happen with this? You have to give it braces. What would I brace it with? More pipes. You have plenty of them. But you don't need to use that pipe. Why? Because you're actually going to go through each other, so you can't use that pipe, actually. That makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. So you're starting to get there. <laughs> I feel like you're actually hurting me on purpose. There you go. That might be a start. Can I rotate it? No. Why? You can make it bigger, though. How? Grab the center of those wheels. No, the wheels. Oh, when were you going to tell me about that? I got you. It's on video. I've already shown her how to do this. Nope, he can't prove it. Oh, well, if I'd have known that, I'd have gotten it right. Uh-huh. Yeah, totally. Uh, not enough. <laughs> not enough. Let's try that for fun. There you go. It's really angry. Run, <laughs> run, little car. It made it. Freedom. Was that not the point of the game? So that's the ball. Uh-huh. And I need to move stuff. Uh-huh. See if I can guess this correctly. Don't. <laughs> well, that's not bad, actually. For some reason, I thought it would just sit on top of that thing. Wait, no, bad. That actually made the whole thing shake. It almost knocked it off. <laughs> I was hoping it would like swing over, you know? Excused. <laughs> hmm. All right, my first strategy seemed more effective. I just had a third one.
What lady is talking outside so loud that I can hear her in here? I don't know. They always do that. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't quite do it. Wait, no. What did you do to get this one to work, Jeff? I actually started from the other side and used a battering ram approach, which you could easily do from this side. See, the problem, what, what you got going on now is that you're starting on uneven ground. So therefore, it's going to fall the opposite direction you want it to every time. If you started on even ground with that approach, that might work. If you pulled that down to the ground, no, 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 down to the ground, down to the ground, down to the ground, down to, like that, that might actually, like, knock it off. I don't know, though. Close. Go. But you could always build onto the end of that. You could move the thing to the right a little bit and build, like, a little battering piece of it that's going to hit more effectively. What a battering piece. There you go. Nope, too far. <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to take out the middle block instead. That might work. Uh, except it wasn't. Apparently enough. I would have actually gone with the back it up a little bit approach. <laughs> Back the whole thing up is what I was gonna say. I like room. practicing. See, I came in from the other side and I took out that corner. I, I came and took out this corner and knocked the whole thing up in the air. Yeah, but then I have to build a new one. Just think though, you can still build under the end of that. You don't have to put balls at the end of everything. What do I have besides balls? You have those those pipes and stuff and the oh, wooden ones. I can, can use make, that without sticking it to anything? Yeah, you can but you still have these other ones that are pivot points. You can still connect to them. Oh. It will spin though. Because that's a spinny one, it will actually spin, or you can do that. Uh, see it was close, but you can do things like that. It's going to fall when you hit start. Uh, might work. Might work. There you go. Yay! Now what is this one? See that? The pink thing? Get it in the pink thing. Can I just take this off? Uh-uh. You can only work in the blue box. Oh. Right. Now you got like obstacles in your way and stuff. I don't know if that connected or not. <laughs> well, it made it over. Now, will it will it push that thing enough? Oh, it might. Yay! It might. Yay! There you go. So now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs>